I'm Rich Horn from Motorsports Land in Salt Lake City. We've been a Winnebago dealer for many, many years, and today I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the Winnebago Fuse. This is a 2017 model. It's called the 23A. Uh, it is a diesel-powered motorhome. It actually is a transit chassis, which is a Ford transit chassis. It is uh, a five-cylinder, 185 horsepower, uh, 3.2 liter diesel engine built by Ford. One thing about the transit chassis is that it is literally a chassis that, has, that is all around the world. It is literally a, a worldwide used uh, chassis. So the best part to the consumer, to you, is that no matter where you go in the, in the United States, in North America, there's going to be service to places wherever you go. Let's go look at some of the features of the motorhome. One of the, the features that I like the very best about the Transit is if you look at the windshield, the size of the windshield, most, most motorhomes are going to have a windshield about that size. You can see by the depth, it's going to give you a lot better vision. The same is true of the side windows. They are, they are lower than most other, even the cars today. They're, it's going to give you some great vision. And also, they've given us a really good sized um, side view mirror on both sides of the coach. Winnebago, they extrude their own uh, steps. That step is a Winnebago product that they, they develop and, and build themselves. The uh, interior is very comfortable. <clears throat> of course, you've got the usual power windows, power door locks, and of course, backup camera and those kinds of things. The seat is extremely comfortable, and the passenger seat on this particular unit does spin around and face the living space. The driver's seat does not. On the outside, you're also looking at the, at the uh, power awning. That awning is an automatic awning. I just push the button to put it out, and now I'll push the button to put it in. That awning can also be adjusted so that it will not hang quite so low if you need it to be a little bit higher for taller people or for wherever you're at, but it can be adjusted for height. And of course, it can be stopped along the way also. You also have speakers on the outside that can be accessed through Bluetooth. And on the outside too, you've got 110 power, two plugs there, and you also have a way to set a TV up outside. You would be plugged at the RV park into, the, into their um, uh, cable TV, and there you have access to get, to get to it on this side. This is going to be your uh, propane fill. And of course, you're going to have your access to your batteries that are on a tray. There's two deep cycle 12 volt batteries there for your house batteries. A, a, se a separate battery system uh, runs the chassis. So on the outside, we actually even have some storage on this particular model. There's storage right here next to your water tank. That's all built by Winnebago. They can make whatever water tank and uh, holding tanks that, that they think that they can fit in there. Most everybody else has to buy them already pre-made. More storage there. This right here is a gravity fill water um, fill. The nice part about that is if you're in a place where there's not a hose, you can actually take a bucket and pour water into that gravity fill. <clears throat> one thing that's nice about a Winnebago product, they all have a fiberglass, one piece fiberglass roof with 10 year parts and labor warranty. Um, some of the rubber roof membranes are um, parts only. So that makes a big difference. This actually comes with, there's your backup camera comes with a, uh, a bike rack, which is a nice feature, that's an option. And this particular model is set up to tow 2,000 pounds. Anything we'll be getting from Winnebago in the future will actually tow 5,000 pounds. One thing I didn't mention about the engine and the drivetrain, it is a six-speed automatic transmission and it also puts out 350 foot-pounds of torque, which is pretty torquey little motor. This, this unit will go 60 to 65 miles an hour over Party Summit. On this side, we've got our, our dump station. Right there, you've got your black and your gray tank for dump. And of course, you can see the exhaust for the, the generator. It has a built-in gen, Onan. Winnebago just uses Onan. And there's your outside shower access. Another nice fe feature is the Sandy Flush. That is a black tank flush system. You put the water hose in, and hook it up to here. The pressure of the water actually spins an arm inside that black tank allowing the garbage on the side of that black tank to be, to be rinsed out. And of course, this is just your fill for your, for your water. You can see we've got a slide out here. That gives you some extra space inside. And that is just a place to store your, uh, your sewer hose. 
Winnebago found some extra space for you to store your hose. So let's go on the inside and take a look at the interior. This is the 23A, which gives you two twin beds. These two twin beds will actually make into one large bed. There are two tables that will fit right here on those, those little uh, ledges and make it into one large bed using the back cushions. This is an extremely lar large bed. It's actually 80 inches long. This is 77. You can extend this bed with that flip flap and then this actually extends that length of that bed which gives you some good space. Another nice feature that Winnebago has given us is they actually have a uh, system so that if you're sitting there watching TV you can actually raise the headrest up on both sides so that uh, you can enjoy reading a book or, or watching TV. It's, it's a good system. <clears throat> Another thing about this particular floor plan is the uh, there's some good storage on the inside. I, I should point out that this is a, a system of a, a spring system that actually really makes the bed much more comfortable. It, and all they are, are just plastic cups that just gives some resistance. One other nice feature about those about that spring system is they it actually helps keep that mattress off of the wood so that if there's moisture in the coach, which we always have in RVs, it helps to keep those from getting saturated or, or getting mildewy. Um, I wanted to show you some storage here that is nice and deep. If you needed a hidden cubby, that's a, that's a good one that nobody would know what you had in there. So that's, that's this unit for sleeping on these two beds. You've got a place to put a table here and of course there's a place to put a table at the couch. So uh, like I say, there's two tables and two legs. Let's take a look at the charging stations that they've got up here, a place to put your cell phone and your, and your toys. You can charge your, your um, toys right there for on each side. In the bathroom, I'll get out of the way. In the bathroom, they, there's a nice big shower and plenty of space. It's, it's a, the full uh, end of the coach. And, and also some nice storage space with a little medicine cabinet. And the storage with a couple of good sized drawers. <clears throat> so there's the bathroom, there's the sleeping area. We've got the living space and the kitchen this comes with a TV um, in the bedroom, plus there's also one in the front. The galley is, is very well put together. You've got a, a two burner stove, you've got a high output and a lower output, a good size sink, it's all stainless steel. And of course you've got a fancy faucet that do whatever you want it to do just about, get it out of the way and, and rinse that sink out. The other sleeping area is right here. And, and this is actually a real good bed. It's, it's a, uh, it's actually built by flex steel and this that pulls out and it's, I believe it's almost 80 inches about 50 or 67 or 77 inches long which it gives you long enough it's a little bit narrow but you could sleep two people there for a period of time and sometimes in this size of a coach you don't plan on having too much extra sleeping but it, and it's a good comfortable couch besides <clears throat> the dimensions of this coach it's obviously a smaller motor home. It is 12 inches narrower than a regular Class A or a Class C coach. It is only 10 feet, three inches tall, which is a lot lower also, lower profile. And it only measures 24 feet long. So this is a nice, maneuverable, easy to drive motor home that still has all the, the, you know, the equipment that you need to live in it or stay in it or, or just do a weekend trip. <clears throat> Again, we talked about the drivetrain six-speed automatic transmission um, that got that torquey diesel five-cylinder diesel engine it's going to do you a great job great performance there's also a little bit of storage up here in the front behind the tv there's a place if you want to put a it's satellite ready so if you want to put a satellite dish on top there's a place to put your, your uh, receiver and then some more storage here so I hope that helps you get a good idea of what the Winnebago Fuse is uh, and hope you'll come down and take a look at it.